right. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or good evening, depending on where you're at in the world. My name is Austin Zuloff out in Lexington, Kentucky, and uh, brings me a great deal of pleasure to bring these Monday motivational Zooms to you all. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, Zooms to be on. I, I love the opportunity overviews because I love seeing who you all are bringing to the table, who you all are sharing this message with. Uh, and uh, love seeing you guys participate. Love the training. Uh, Tim and Ann and Brandy and Carrie, they give some phenomenal trainings on these Saturday training Zooms. Uh, but last night, I took some time to really think. Uh, I stayed up pretty late, actually, uh, just thinking about what I wanted to talk about today. And, you know, after building teams into the hundreds of thousands of human beings worldwide and meeting and talking with so many different people, I've gotten asked a lot of the same questions. It's actually surprising how, how, how much I get asked the same questions. You know, some I've heard or, you know, like, uh, what's your biggest secret to success, right? And how can I motivate my team? And, you know, how'd you make your first million dollars? And, you know, one of my favorites is why do you always seem so positive, no matter what's going on around you, right? The sky is falling and yet you're, you're, you're very optimistic. But uh, all of these questions can be answered with one word. Now, I've seen a lot of people seek out the meaning of life. Isn't that something that we always do as human beings? We want to know what's it all about, right? Uh, it, and it's so funny because it's so obvious and it's so simple. The meaning of life, the secret to success, you know, all of these things. It just, the way to peace and happiness that people are always seeking. And it's all yours when you truly discover and you understand one word. And that one word is purpose. I still don't think that some of you all understand what we do at Zealous. I really don't. And some of you guys have been in ever since before we opened North America, right? But some of you think we're a network marketing company. You know, some of you might think that we sell algae-based products or phycocyanin products or, you know, God, I hope you don't think that we're a side gig. <laughs> LOL, right? But folks, when you truly discover what we do here, and, and by we, I mean the ones that are truly committed, you know, your corporate team, Jimmy, Jean-Michel, Eric Masson, uh, Michael, I mean, just... All these guys behind the scenes that you may or may not know, Patris, Terry, uh, Tarek, all these guys, you know, your Ann Feinsteins and Tim Edwards and, uh, and Brandies and Carries and others, you know, and, you know, what we've done here is become missionaries of a higher calling, a purpose. That's what we've done. I want to talk to you about the difference between privilege and purpose. Okay, but first, I want you to understand what I just said whenever I said missionaries of a higher calling. Okay, and if you're taking notes, write that down missionaries of a higher calling. We say it, you know, in the presentation all the time that we've depleted our, our soil of its nutrients. We can't be healthy just from eating right alone, it's not possible. The supplements in even the most popular nutritional stores are mostly not bioavailable. Our bodies can't absorb them, which means that we can't supplement our way to success or to, to being healthy. And if you can't eat your way to being healthy and you can't supplement your way to being healthy, how do you get healthy? You know, we're seeing record numbers of dis-ease, both physical and mental disease, more than ever, you know, nowadays. And it's not getting any better. I mean, it's, it's hell. It's absolute pure hell every single day for so many people, folks. And zealous. Folks, we have, we have help. Do you get that? Do you really get that? We have help. Our patented A3 Max has every single vitamin, mineral, nutrient, amino acid, and protein that the human body and mind needs, except vitamin C, and our phycosci has that. You know, folks, people, not just a few, right, but 
everyone needs what we have. I mean, you want to talk about a great business to be in. It's a business with purpose. It's a cause, something of real value, a higher calling. So when I say those of us that have committed, have taken on the role of missionaries of a higher calling, it feels wonderful. It feels sensational knowing you're making a difference. You're building a legacy. You're helping change the course, the trajectory of the future is what you're doing. Write this down if you're taking notes. Zealous is the future of how we will feed the world. By the way, that's not me that came up with that. That's our mystery consultant that we can't introduce you to quite yet. Zealous is the future of how we will feed the world. So let's really quickly talk about the difference between privilege and purpose. Then I want to give you a few big keys on how you can live a purpose-driven life, okay? Someone driven by privilege says, that's not my job. Someone driven by purpose says, let me do that for you. Privilege is part of the problem. Purpose is, of course, part of the solution. Privilege says it may be possible, but it's too difficult. Purpose says it may be difficult, but it's possible. Okay. Privilege just waits for his turn to talk, right? Purpose actually listens to the other person. When privilege falls short, they say it wasn't my fault, right? It was the company, it was the technology, it was the this, that, and the other. If purpose, falls short, they say, I might have been wrong, but I'm going to try harder. A privileged man is concerned with what men say about them or may say about them over his tombstone. A purpose-driven man rests in peace, knowing what the angels will say about him before the throne of God. Let's talk about four keys to living a purpose-driven life real quick, okay? So number one, develop a monk's mindset. I love this one. Meaning a huge secret to peace and fulfillment is to give unto others without expecting anything in return. Now I'll say that again. Give unto others without expecting anything in return. See, here's the thing. If you expect anything in return, you can get hurt. You can get your feelings hurt that way, right? Your expectations can get hurt. The secret of living is giving without expecting anything in return. Doing the right thing just because it's the right thing to do. Of course, we've all heard Zig Ziglar's, if you help enough people get what they have or they want, rather, you can have anything that you want. So true. So develop a monk's mindset. Number two is go all in without regard to what others may think. I like this one because I, uh, I read a little bit of philosophy, you know, Plato, Socrates, Nietzsche. I'm actually a really big Frederick Nietzsche fan. So um, whenever I say go all in, and I mean all in, without regard to what others may think, Nietzsche once said, and those who were seen dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music. I love that quote, right? I don't have to explain myself, my seemingly eccentric work habits, my 100% belief in what we're doing here at Zealous, my complete faith in where we're headed. I'm all in, all in, and it feels night and day different from being 99% committed, okay? So I encourage you to go all in without regard of what others might think. Number three is be consistent and persistent. This is a big one. It's, it doesn't just rhyme and sound good. These are, this is a big one, consistent and persistent. Make a full commitment to show up every single day until and despite. Now, what do I mean by that? Until you've reached your goals, despite what challenges may come, because they will, 
will never be perfect. So if you're, if you're here and you're expecting perfection or waiting till perfection, take care. Try to find it somewhere else. And when you find, you know, if you ever find it, let me know. I'll join you. We'll all join. Okay. Because nothing's perfect. Amway is like 300 years old, right? Now they're like 70 years old and they're not perfect. Not at all. If you were to sit down with a corporate team of, of Melaleuca, you know, they're 30 something years old. I was out at their corporate headquarters last year uh, consulting for a couple people on their board of directors. And they're not perfect. There's challenges after 30 something years. You know, Mary Kay even has major issues. You know, uh, these are huge. These are some of the biggest and oldest network marketing companies out there. They still got issues. Combined insurance company that I worked for for about seven years. They're over 100 years old. They're screwed up. They've got a ton of issues. Boloads. If you were to sit down with their, their vice president team, um, they'll tell you to. And we'll never be perfect. Neither will any company. Person, no person will be perfect. No situation. But listen, it's impossible to beat the man or woman that shows up every single day and refuses to give up. They always win with 100% of the time, no matter what. Even if you're not as talented, you're not as handsome as Mike Hansen, right? You're, you're not as uh, smart as Tim Edwards, right? You're not as driven as Ann Feinstein, right? You don't have the cool accent that Christine and Liam and, and, uh, Liam and Nick have, right? Um, doesn't matter. It's impossible to beat the man or woman that shows up every single day and refuses to give up no matter what. They always win 100% of the time. We talk about stick and stay. Those that stick with it, stay in the right activities, get the pay. Those that stick and stay, get the pay. So that's the third thing. And the fourth tip I'll give you, and I want you to know this and write this down if you're taking notes. You're not better than anyone else, but no one is better than you. I'll say that again. You're not better than anyone else, but no one is better than you. So in closing, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to live a purpose-driven life. I want your heart so on fire that when people stand beside you, they either ignite or they melt. We have something the world needs, something truly unique and special, something to be proud of. And yeah, we'll have challenges along the way. And yeah, I'm proud of those challenges because that means we're growing. And I want to grow old with you all here at Zealous together. I want to challenge you to become a missionary of a higher calling. And if you're one of the truly committed ones to steward that message, then I'll see you on the stage of success. This concludes our Monday motivational Zoom. I'll see you in the Facebook group on the opportunity overviews and on the weekly Zooms. Love you so much, Zealous. Let's have a week that makes a difference. Thank you, guys.